Uh, apa kelo gua situ <laughs> sorry <laughs> apa kelo gua keluar ga keluar halo balik lagi sama gue Maria sekarang hari Kamis tanggal nggak tahu tanggal berapa tapi masih di rumah aja kita masih di karantina di rumah dan hari ini video yang ditunggu-tunggu gue mau bikin uh, Q&A sama Matias pacar gue dan gue udah dapet pertanyaan dari kalian cuman uh, gue pilih 10 pertanyaan pertama aja karena kalau nggak videonya bakal sampai besok jadi uh, 10 pertanyaan dulu nanti uh, kalau misalnya ada waktu lagi gue bakal bikin Q&A lagi tapi yang spesial adalah waktu Q&A ini gue bakal sambil hmm, potong rambutnya Matias, yay! Jadi um, dia baru beli mesin potong rambut karena salon di Belanda tutup gara-gara corona. Jadi uh, biasanya dia juga ada tukang salon yang datang ke rumah, tapi nggak boleh juga datang ke rumah karena gara-gara uh, corona inilah. Jadi nggak ada salon yang buka dan nggak ada tukang salon yang boleh ke rumah gitu. Jadi rambutnya udah panjang banget, udah gondrong kayak gini, nggak deh, bercanda. Udah panjang lah pokoknya. Jadi uh, dia beli mesinnya dan gue bakal bantuin dia untuk potong rambut. Dan ini pertama kalinya gue potong rambut laki-laki. Pernah sih gue potong rambut perempuan, teman-teman kuliah dulu yang di Belanda. Halo, yang pernah gue potongin rambutnya. Gimana kalian puas kan dengan hasilnya? Jadi semoga uh, customer gue yang kali ini juga puas dengan hasilnya. Jadi ikutin terus ya. Rambutnya udah dibasahin sedikit. Jadi uh, is uh, the hair is now a little bit wet, I think. So <laughs> I'm going to cut your hair. Okay guys. We are you, eh? Oh. Nee, ya waiting. <laughs> Dia takut. <laughs> Step kedua, pakai ini. One eternity later. Halo, uh, tadi udah selesai foto rambutnya. <laughs> Ini fotonya di sini sebelum dan sesudah. Gimana menurut kalian bagus nggak? Tadinya mau tanya jawab sekalian potong rambut, tapi ternyata nggak berhasil karena perlu konsentrasi penuh. Jadi kita tanya jawabnya Q&A-nya sambil makan ya. Ini Matias yang masak. You cook this, right? Yeah. What is this? Uh, some chicken with uh, veggies like uh, yeah, boom coal, carrot, boom coal. broccoli. Coal. Yeah, that is coal. Broccoli. Yeah. broccoli. And, uh, I have with potatoes and Maria will have it with the uh, rice. Indo Belanda, mm -hmm. kentang nasi. Potato. Potato kentang. Enak. Sama makan. It's makan. It's makan. Lekker hoor. Kita bakal sambil baca pertanyaannya. Matias yang bakal baca pertanyaannya pakai bahasa Indonesia. Terus nanti kita jawab bareng-bareng ya. Pertanyaan pertama. So the first question is uh, kalian ketemu di mana? So, kita ketemu dari aplikasi Tinder. So we are the success story I think from mm -hmm. Tinder. Yay! <laughs> It can work ya. Yeah. Yeah. Karena ternyata Tinder nggak selamanya sejelek itu ya teman-teman. Jadi kalau buat kalian yang desperate, for you guys who desperate uh, that oh I cannot find any boyfriend, any girlfriend, try Tinder. 
coba aja Tinder, siapa tahu kalian berhasil kayak kita. Jadi kita pertama ketemu lewat Tinder karena um, gue kan nggak kenal siapa-siapa ya di Belanda. I don't, I, I know nobody here in the Netherlands. So uh, I thought that Tinder is the best way to uh, meet somebody. So yeah, terus uh, kita ketemu di kotanya dia. Waktu itu dia tinggal di Arnhem. Dia kayak di Arnhem is a is kayak sebelah timurnya Belanda Close itu. Uh-huh. Dan waktu itu gue masih tinggal di Apeldoorn, jadi nggak terlalu jauh dari kota gue. Udah deh, dari situ kita uh, lanjut. Ya, yeah. pertanyaan kedua. So the second question is. Uh... Udah pacaran berapa lama? About three years. Yeah. <laughs> But which day was it? The, the day we first met. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somewhere the first week in January or second week. Hmm. Or later in January, at least somewhere in January, I remember. In winter time. Gak ada inget. So yeah. Terus uh, jadi berarti kita udah tiga tahun sama-sama. Gak berasa ya. Pertanyaan selanjutnya. Oke, okay, this next question is question 3. <coughs> I hope I pronounce it right, but uh, setelah berapa lama akhirnya memutuskan untuk Amerika? Uh, well, how long ago until you decided to get married? I think it was after two years. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, actually, yeah. I proposed proposed exactly one year ago. It was in April 2019 during a during a trip in uh, the Baltic States during a cruise. Jadi waktu itu kita lagi jalan-jalan naik cruise keliling uh, namanya Baltic Cruise. Jadi uh, laut Baltic, Baltic to Baltic Cruise. Mm-hmm. Jadi kita ke negara Finlandia, terus Rusia. Rusianya waktu itu Saint Petersburg. Abis itu uh, turun ke bawah ke Estonia. Nah waktu kita berhenti di Estonia kan kita boleh keliling kotanya tuh. Dia di situ uh, propose to me di sebuah restoran. Was a traditional restaurant, really 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 traditional restaurant. Mid evil time. Mid evil time. It was a really nice restaurant. There was no light, so only candles. But actually you didn't go down your knee. Dia nggak berlutut. So you have to do it again. <laughs> Well, well, sometimes it's better not to do the typical things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, more special. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, special. I cannot uh, forget about yeah, it because that's... you still have to do it. That's why it's special. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi ya, berarti um, in two years, dalam waktu dua tahun, um, akhirnya dia memutuskan kalau dia yakin untuk um, melamar saya. Jadi, um, ya, yeah. jadi kita udah setelah satu tahun ya, one year uh, engaged. Uh-huh. Pertanyaan selanjutnya. Apa keluar gua? Situ juru. Sorry. Apa keluar gua? Keluar gua. Keluar gua. Situ juru sama hubungan kalian. Did both parents agree? Uh, yeah, from my side, there's no issue, so uh, everything was fine. And for Maria's parents as well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, from my side, surprisingly, there was no issue. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, orang tua setuju karena uh, because you are a Christian as well. Because in my family, uh, re- that we are in the same religion is uh, important. And I'm Christian, and he's Christian. Uh, gue Kristen, dia juga Kristen. Jadi karena kita udah seiman, walaupun dia Kristennya, dia tahu lah ya Kristen Kristen bule yang kecil tuh mereka ke gereja, tapi setelah besar mereka Uh, hidup dengan kepercayaannya sendiri hmm. jadi nggak nggak wajib ke gereja kayak gitu jadi beda lah sama Kristen hmm. Indo tapi kita seiman jadi uh, orang tua gue setuju juga gitu oke okay, question 5 uh, susah ke pacaran beda budaya orang Belanda itu terkenal banget mereka uh, apa adanya jadi apa adanya maksudnya kayak ngomong seapa adanya banget nggak di nggak di filter lagi kalau misalnya memang jelek mereka bakal ngomong jelek bukan yang kayak Ya ini tuh kurang bagus, nggak mereka ngomong jelek, nggak enak, nggak enak nih, um, ini makanan nggak enak banget, bukan yang kayak kayaknya kurang ini deh, kayak kurang itu nggak, nggak enak, nggak enak gitu. Jadi benar-benar ngomong a ya a nggak di, it's not that you guys are sugar coating, right? Mm-hmm. You just say what uh, they just say what they think it is. So uh, in the beginning it was hard for me as an Indonesian, itu uh, berat banget. 
Tapi lama-lama kebiasaan karena di tempat kerja kan mau nggak mau gue harus adaptasi juga ya sama banyak orang Belanda. Jadi lama-lama ya kebiasaan dan emang gue orangnya dari awal udah yang emang uh, apa adanya juga sih kalau ngomong emang nggak pakai di filter. Tapi orang Belanda tuh is another level I think. I'm also direct but you guys are like another level of a directness I think. So uh, jadi uh, kalau kalian mau pacaran sama orang Belanda, if you want to have a relationship with the Dutch, this is uh, important because maybe you find that um, like insulting, maybe you find that insulting, but that they don't mean that, you know, it's just the way they live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Tapi uh, overall, selama ini uh, gak ada masalah sih. I think in in general, you guys have the same jokes like we have, you know. In Indonesia we kita kayak bercandaannya tuh kayak hampir-hampir sama goblok-gobloknya tuh sama-sama banget kayak bego-begonya you know the the, the, the silly jokes bego-bego <laughs> saya <Bego>. bego bego ya <laughs> bego 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 <laughs> bego-begonya tuh sama sebenarnya gitu cuma beda bahasa aja next uh, number six bagi tips LDR don't cock LDR long distance relationship Some tips for a long distance relationship? Well, I want to say it's impossible, but uh, I think you have to have a strong mindset if you really have a uh, living in in the other side of the world. So I think if it's for the beginning, uh, I, I think it can work out. But of course, you have to have some goals that you know that in, in uh, like a year time or max two years time, you maybe will live together. And in the meantime, you have to Of course, visit each other because I think if you don't do it and only maintain like in a digital way, it's I think it's hard to continue for like a long time. Long like I think one year is Maximum. you can you can make it maybe one and a half, but <clears throat> but for more more than two years, it's maybe maybe it can. But I think it will be more difficult to stay stay connected, you know, because especially if if you have some time difference and working and. Mm-hmm. It's hard to maintain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I cannot give any tips because it never worked for me. But maybe mm-hmm. be patient, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Because some people did it, like my friend, she did it, mm-hmm. and they got married, and now they have children. So uh, I think it worked for some people, but it didn't work for me. Question number seven: Ma uh, punya anak berapa? I think for me, it's like. One or two, that's that's fine, I think. So uh, I think three is getting a bit too much work. I mean, difficult to handle. <laughs> I think with two, it's it's still with like like a boy and a girl or. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same. Sama. Satu. Maximal dua. Tuh. Yeah. Next. Matias, <laughs> kerja um, apa? My job. Well, I work for the Gelderland province in Belanda. It's like the biggest province here in the Netherlands. And like the, this province, I think there are like two million citizens. I'm not, I'm not sure, but for the size, it's the biggest. <coughs> How many provinces in Netherlands? Berapa uh, provinsi? 12. 12. Mm-hmm. Jadi di Belanda ada 12 provinsi. Terus dia kerja di uh, provinsi namanya Gelderland, mm-hmm. itu provinsi terbesar di Belanda. Maksudnya terbesar, ukurannya terbesar ya. The size is the biggest, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And, uh, it, terus mm-hmm. mereka punya 2 juta uh, penduduk di provinsi tersebut. Jadi Matias ini mm-hmm. kalau di Indonesia uh, PNS. You, if in Indonesia you are the worker of a government worker, mm-hmm. government worker. Mm-hmm. Jadi Matias ini PNS-nya Belanda, guys. Next. Question 9. Matias Doyan, makan PT sama jengkol enggak? At first, thing. Well, uh, I don't think I ate it before, so it's hard for me to <coughs> answer this question. But I heard it has a typical taste. No typical uh, smell. Uh, smell. Sting. Hmm. Bau. Like stinky tofu or? I've never like tried. That? I've never tried stinky tofu. Maybe, but Cause, uh, cause stinky, it... stinky tofu is like really awful. I. I I know from Taiwan they have a lot of stinky tofu there. But <laughs> it smells like poop. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, I don't know how it smells because uh, how it tastes because I've never tried it myself. Gue oh. uh, nggak pernah makan pete atau jengkol karena nggak suka. But maybe you can try uh, di pete because 
karena pete tuh bagus because pete is good actually for your health hmm? but jengkol is actually dangerous so uh, maybe I can uh, let you try pete gue bakal kasih dia makan pete tapi jangan jengkol ya nggak bagus untuk kesehatan hmm? next and the uh, last hmm. next uh, last but not least Se- I mean sepuluh right yeah Then. what do you think about Indonesian girls I'm not sure maybe this question comes from Maria <laughs> I don't think so. Go on. It's getting dark. Maaf ya kalau agak makin lama makin gelap karena ini udah jam setengah sembilan. Tapi but but maybe uh, we can finish it up soon. So what do you think about the Indonesian girls? <coughs> well, I'm not sure if, if you mean about the looks or if, whatever. But, well, I mean for looks, uh, of course, uh, Indonesian girls are pretty. So. Uh, <laughs> That's why she's here, really. <laughs> but, but of course, uh, it's not about only about the looks. I mean, it's also about the personality, and I think in general, uh, I mean, of course, I don't know many girls from Indonesia, but I think in general they have a kind personality. I think that's the general personality Perception. of people in Indonesia, like uh, gentle, friendly. But for the looks, uh, yeah, it's they're bagus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bagus, bagus is for a day. The tafel bagus, bagus is meja bagus, piring bagus. This is cantik. Cantik ya. Yeah. <laughs> Everything bagus. <laughs> Nay, day is bagus, this bagus, bagus. Yang clear bagus, bagus. <laughs> cantik, lagi cantik, lagi cantik. Ya, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was the last question. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, oh yeah, lupa mau kasih tahu kalau Gue udah hit 100 subscribers. Yay! 100. Yay! <laughs> Bagus. <laughs> Bagus. <laughs> yeah, I have 100 subscribers. Uh-huh. My first 100 subscribers. Uh-huh. So, yeah, thank I, you so much. Three in weeks? My, yeah, three weeks. Tiga minggu. Uh-huh. Yeah, but compared to other uh, successful YouTuber, I think I'm nothing, but uh-huh. I'm happy with that anyway. Tapi gue senang banget karena ada waktu tiga minggu uh, kalian yang baik-baik hati uh-huh. sudah subscribe di uh, channel saya dan ya semoga uh, buat teman-teman yang baru di channel ini semoga kalian juga bakal subscribe supaya bisa gue bisa atau kita bisa bikin video lagi lebih banyak lagi dan lebih seru lagi dan untuk merayakan 100 subscribers ini to celebrate this 100 subscribers I'm going to do a giveaway but I don't know what so Not me, right? <laughs> you want him ya <Yeah>? on sale <laughs> No, 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 not yet. <laughs> Belum, nanti belakangan. Tapi gue nggak tahu mau kasih apa. Gue mau kasih giveaway, tapi nggak tahu mau kasih apa. Jadi um, follow Instagram gue. Kita nanti bakal ada tanya. Gue bakal buka pertanyaan. Kalian maunya gue giveaway apa? Jangan yang mahal-mahal ya. <laughs> nanti bakal uh, gue pilih dan gue bakal buka giveaway untuk 100 subscribers ini, oke? Okay? Itu aja. So, uh, thank you for watching. Terima kasih yang udah nonton sampai sekarang. Dan kalau kalian suka, please, please, please like this video. Dan please comment di bawah buat pertanyaan yang lain atau mungkin ada saran, kritik, atau cuman mau uh, ngobrol aja sama kita juga boleh di comment. Terus jangan lupa subscribe, subscribe. Oke, okay, sampai ketemu di video selanjutnya. Doei!